Four years ago today, on May 20th, 2013, Robert Romines was completing his first week in his new job as superintendent of Moore Public Schools when a crisis struck his school district and his community, testing Dr. Romines' leadership skills in ways he never imagined. A two mile wide F5 tornado plowed through the city of Moore, killing seven children, leveling two schools, and damaging buildings across the district. In the aftermath, Dr. Romine shouldered the grief of families and his school community, met with media and community volunteers, provided mental health support for staff, and began the long process of rebuilding. Through it all, he never complained, but became a, hope, uh, a force of hope, healing, and resilience for his community. In the four years since, Dr. Roe Mines has led unprecedented growth throughout the district and helped pass the largest bond issue in the district's history to put a storm shelter in each school site. He's empowered community and student leaders to have a voice in district policies, but most importantly, he's been a role model for students on how to face life's challenge with courage and compassion. The ropes course was huge. You know, I've never done uh, done one of those, and it was really important for me uh, to get the three high schools together uh, for for them to see their superintendent up on the high wire, who has a problem with heights anyway. Uh, was was pretty was pretty classic. It was it was fun. Uh, Dr. Romine's relationship with the teachers and staff, and even the students, um, is very easy. I mean, we have students that will walk up to him and hug him, who he had when he was a principal, who he had when he was a teacher. It impacted him personally and profoundly. Um, was probably, it, it's probably not in the handbook. It probably doesn't say that this is what the superintendent is supposed to do. Um, and that is why he is beloved, and that is why he is so important and special to us. I made a commitment early on, we would never forget. And so, when you walk up to the front of Plaza Towers, the very first thing that you see are seven silhouettes of seven children that represent the seven that were lost. And I think that Romine's sometimes wearing his heart on his sleeve gives the rest of us permission to do so. And that, that helps us heal. This country saw what small town more America was about. And it was about resiliency and rebuilding and overcoming some of the, the, the biggest obstacles that a school district or a community, a community would ever face. It's not just about May 20th, that's where my heart is with him. Sorry. Um, but his, his push, his drive for excellence is probably the biggest thing I admire. Please welcome the winner of the Oklahoma Medal for Excellence in Public School Administration, Superintendent of Moore Public Schools, Dr. Robert Romines. First, I would like to thank President Boren and Ms. Boren and the Oklahoma Foundation for making this opportunity available. Recognition of public education and the students we produce has always been invaluable and is especially touching during this trying time in education in Oklahoma. I also need to thank my family for their support, more specifically my wife Tracy, who is also a public educator, and my two daughters, Ashton and Avery, who are also products of public schools. I appreciate this honor, and as I reviewed the list of past recipients, I was humbled to see that I stand in, uh, in, with the company of some of the state's greatest public educators. However, for me, it's the 24,400 students 
and the more than 2,000 employees of more public schools that inspire me to get up each and every day and fight the good fight for them. I had to learn the hard way what it takes to face uh, the massive challenges of rebuilding a school district and a community, but this was a job that I did not do on my own. Isaac Newton said, if I have done great things or have seen further than others, it's because I have stood on shoulders of giants. My giants who have hoisted me up and kept me going are my leadership team, our faculties and staffs, and the community of Moore, Oklahoma. We are dedicated to making our school system great. Moore Public Schools is living proof that you can face the greatest of adversities and succeed by coming together and working hard. To promote the uh, profession of public education, one only need to look around this room at the many students who represent the thousands of public school students in the state of Oklahoma. They are just a small sampling of the final result of years of public education, and they are the generation who will secure our future. I personally will always promote public education and public school students across this great state. John Haywood said, if you will call your troubles experiences and remember that every experience develops a latent talent within you, you will grow vigorous and happy however adverse your circumstances seem to be. Thank you for this honor and to the students in this audience, your future is ahead of you and you will do great things. Thank you.